Uh, just a brief note on comparing nominal GDP with real GDP. And then once we've looked at that, we can compare it with the CPI. Okay. With, with nominal GDP, what we're trying to do, nominal GDP, when we're comparing two years, let's say the year 2000 and the year 2010, what we are doing is we are looking at the change in price and the change in quantity over both years. Okay, so keep that in mind. With real GDP, what we have to do is we have to fix one of our unknowns. Right? So in this case, what we're going to look with real GDP is we're going to compare the change in output, the change in quantity, and we're going to fix price between the two years. Right? So you can see the difference between real GDP and nominal GDP. Right? With nominal GDP, we allow the price to change and the quantity to change. So with nominal GDP, let me change the color. With nominal GDP, in the nominal GDP for the year 2000, nominal GDP in the year 2000 is based on the price level in the year 2000 multiplied by the quantity produced in the year 2000. And the nominal GDP in the year 2010 is going to be based on the price level of 2010 multiplied by the quantity of 2010. With real GDP, it's going to be different because we're going to fix one of the baskets, uh, one, one of our unknowns. In this case, we're going to fix the price level. The price level is going to stay, right? So you got to find your base year. Okay, let's say the base year is 2000. That means over the two periods, the two periods being the year 2000 and the year 2010, what we're going to do is we're going to fix the price level at the base year of 2000. So when we look at real GDP in the year 2000, real GDP for the year 2000, it's going to be based on the price level of the year 2000 multiplied by the output of the year 2000. In this case, the real GDP for the year 2000 is going to be the same as the nominal GDP of the year 2000 because the base year we have decided is going to be the year 2000. The difference is going to be when we look at real GDP in the year 2010 and compare it with nominal GDP of 2010. So real GDP in the year 2010 is going to be based on the price level in the year 2000. Okay, not 2010, but 2000 because that is the base year multiplied by the output in the year 2010. So what you can see is real GDP in 2010 is different from nominal GDP in 2010 because the price level is different, right? We, we, when we say something is a real variable, what that means is we can compare it to another period, right? So in this situation, when we look at the year 2000, we're using the price level of the year 2000 and output of the year 2000. And with 2010, we're looking at the price level of 2000 and the output for 2010. So we cancel out the price levels and we just look whether we are producing more or less. With nominal GDP, that is not very clear. Okay, so that's real GDP and nominal GDP. We can move that off. I'll just move that to the side. Okay. And now what we can do is we can look at the difference between real GDP and CPI. So again, with the real GDP, we have the situation where we fix the price to the base here and we let the quantity change. You can compare that with the CPI where 
what we're going to do is we're going to let the price change and we're going to fix the quantity over the two periods that we are studying okay so make sure you know the difference between real GDP and CPI and the difference between real GDP and nominal GDP